Hello boys, welcome back to my channel. In the previous session we learned about one way data binding. So this was the technique that we learned that we on the click of this button the value is increasing and we can also change the value directly from here and the increment will start from the value that we are setting. How it works? Let me give you a little recap that this value is binded with this current count value is bounded with this variable this function is also able to increase the value and from here we can also increment give the change in value so whatever from wherever we give the change from here uh, from the text box or from the button click event that this one is here this variable will accept the change okay and that is all possible through this bind keyword so this uh, everything whole the scenario is explained in my previous youtube video that's you can find it here and blazor data binding <coughs> connect dom elements directly with c sharp variable and property it's available on my channel okay here it is so uh, now today we are going to cover two way data binding and for that let's use a clean page where we are uh, home page let's utilize this page for our two way data binding techniques let's come here i'm closing it everything should be closed now okay this is my home page uh, the clean page let me stop the debugging i'm going to create an input element uh, it's not necessary that i specify the type the default type is text okay and let's write a simple code block okay here we go and uh, my first property is string my val uh, get and set the default value my initial value goes here and okay this is very important thing that i'm going to demonstrate you over here that if i use bind keyword here bind attribute and inside the bind attribute my val will go inside it okay hmm, that's that i think for now uh, i want to demonstrate that on which event this value is going to change Okay, let's run this application. Oh, 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 no. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Where the display will be rendered. Here is my p tag. Value is at the right my val. Okay. So this is the run. Here my value will be rendered. Here. Will be updated from the text box and will be rendered in the paragraph tag and this is the holder the variable which will who will hold the value of my uh, text box uh, so let's run it okay when i am changing the value this paragraph text this paragraph text is not updating but as soon as i'll hit the tab button or I will change the focus from th this text box the value is updated ok my new value is not updated but as soon as I click outside this text box the value is updating on, on change event of this text box the default behavior is the value will be sent to the variable on, on change event but if you want to change this behavior we will use uh, an other attribute bind uh, event on which event you want to change the behavior uh, or you want to send the value is on input now let's examine the output Okay, as soon as I am making any change in the tag box, the paragraph tag is updating its value. Uh, our new value, wonderful. Now it is completely synchronized. Both elements of my DOM, this tag box and this paragraph are completely synchronized. 
any value that will be here in this text box the text box will, will not wait for losing the focus to send the new value the value will be updated immediately okay another thing let's let me show you one more magic of blazor over here here we are playing with the value the value of tag box but what else can you do let me change uh, an hr bar horizontal bar another input okay and let me specify private a string my style get and set default value is mm -mm. color right okay here am i specifying the uh, css of, for any element and now we'll play with it okay let me show you i'm using here an span okay and this span will hold this will get the css from this variable that i have just defined for that i'm using bind dash style after bind and dash you can specify any attribute so i'm binding this time the value with style okay style equals to i'll demonstrate you once again and here will go my variables name my style okay and when this value should be updated let me define that at point style of this tag on on change okay let me demonstrate you once again here is my input and i am placing in the vari uh, variable from here at the right bind my style let's make it simple i simply have a text box which is binded with the variable my style okay this one and in reverse i have another span tag placed on the same dom whose style property whose style property is binded with this variable okay let me explain once again i have an span or uh, this could be any other tag that you want whose this property this time style property is binded with style attribute uh, and this style is binded on when the event of on change will occur over here on this value in this variable okay let's run this application Okay, let me write something for this tax box. My value inside the span. Oh, oh, okay, but let me give it a variable at the dot my val. Okay, now this span will display the value from this variable. Now I have this p tag binded with the uh, my well and I have this span binded with my well. Okay, my initial value it is typed in here. It's coming from the default C# variables value and it's rendered over here. It's also rendered over here. Its color is coming red because the style, the default value here is defined as red. Okay, now let's play with it. My new value inside tax box wonderful and let's change the color from here blue but this tax box we have set on on change so when i will press the tab or this tax box will lose the focus the value is applied over here let's add uh, one more css font size equals to 24 px okay I'm changing, I'm clicking outside. Okay, let me write one more CSS border 
the same CSS that we made, we would define in the style tag of any attribute or in any class. Border, I want to give here one px solid and uh, green. Wonderful. This is what we wanted. Okay. 2px solid red. Wow. So you notice here that the page is not refreshed everything is working on the fly and any change I if I'm making here it's it has come immediately impacting this is uh, p tag and this is pan tag and the CSS provided here is um, can be applied on this is pan tag on on change event so that's it for this session if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the um, bell icon and thank you very much